What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dirk Chan. Welcome back to another fragrance review. Before I get into this, hope y'all doing well. Hope y'all smelling good. Like, comment, and subscribe. Support me. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate it. Keeps the channel going. Keeps the channel growing. All right, let's get into this, man. Zara. Gotta love Zara, man. They got some funky clothes, you know, some out there styles, but they have some great fragrance clones. So let's get into this one, Vibrant Leather. You already know, another Creed Aventus type clone, some people say, <coughs> excuse me. To my nose, this one is light, fresh, but does not last long. So keep that in mind, guys. $30, 120 ml. I'm glad it's 120 ml, cause you're gonna need to spray this uh, quite a bit, or carry like a little atomizer. I do seven sprays of this, seven sprays on skin though uh, so not too bad there are fragrance hacks to extend the performance you know lotion spraying on clothes so i just wanted to put that out there first and foremost the performance is just the only drawback of this fragrance other than that i really enjoy the opening and the mid of this fragrance so this one you'll mainly get citrus and leather uh, Zara launched this fragrance out in 2018, so it's out there in the market for quite some time and it's still here. Zara does have the tendency to release fragrances that do really well and then take them away, so I'm glad they kept Vibrant Leather in rotation. It's really great. So, very simplistic in the note breakdown. Uh, you're gonna get that bergamot, very noticeable, fresh and clean. I'm gonna get a whiff right now. Yep. Fresh and clean, like the bergamot that you are so familiar with in Montblanc Explorer. It's the predominant note in this, and there's a little bit of leather in there that just gives it a bit more depth and uh, longevity. Now in terms of age ranges, oh yeah, college students and above approved, man. This thing smells great, fresh and clean year-rounder type fragrance you can wear this anywhere work office gym date it will make you smell good signature scent worthy again creed aventus dna signature scent worthy but keep in mind performance performance really holds this back uh, and when i say holds this back i mean first hour to two hours it's popping but then it moves into a skin scent it moves into a six inch Scent bubble maybe, maybe less. But if you spray it on clothes, you'll probably hit about four hours. So if you're just going out, hanging out, coming back in, it will probably last you. But if you're expecting a full day's worth of performance, it might not. But if you wear it to the office, it could definitely work for that because it's not too overbearing. So keep that in mind. If you want a nice office fragrance that smells like a Ventus, you could try out Vibrant Leather. Uh, Montblanc Explorer might be too strong. Same thing with Club de Nuit Intense. Man. But, again, compliments. First hour, <laughs> you will get compliments. I mean, again, Creed Aventus clone, Creed Aventus type fragrance. Great DNA. People will love it. Fresh, clean, confident. Now, should you buy this? Well, I must say, if you want a office fragrance I'm trying to think when you would wear this maybe if it's really really high heat or if you want to wear it in an office setting or a close encounter setting like on a train or something like that and you want to smell like Creed Aventus vibrant leather is perfect for that but if you want all day performance long lasting and a Creed Aventus clone you shouldn't get this, to be honest. You should get something like a Mont Blanc Explorer or a Club de New Eden Tense Man. It's all about your expectations, so that's all I really have, guys. Uh, not too bad of a fragrance. A great introduction to fragrances, I guess. Um, but, yeah, not a performer. That's all I have, guys. Thank you very much. Ciao.